Okay, Happy New Year, folks. Um, yeah, I'm a few days after the fact, but I didn't want to come up come up on here jumping for joy the first day. <laughs> so, um, and I'm seeing what's going on after the holidays to kind of feel my way in here, okay? But I see the push still, you know, uh, to try and get Mr. T off ballots in different states. It's not going to work, but I give him credit for trying. <laughs> they're not trying hard enough. Well, they're trying. I think they're, they are trying, but nothing they're doing is working. You know why? Because they're wrong in doing it. I think there's another hand in the mix here. You know what? This is good. Remember what? I I have a video. I think it was my last one. My last video about the spiritual war and what's happening. And I think those of us who know can see it. That, yeah. There's another hand in the mix here. That will prevail. Mr. T is going to be on the ballots. Don't you worry about that. Okay? Because SCOTUS will do the right thing. And they will, you know what? I think in doing so, in doing so, is going to really mess up Jack Smith's day. Probably his year. <laughs> He's not going to have... A happy new year. Okay. So, yeah, I get people and trolls, like I go on, on social media and I get the trolls saying, well, you're not a legal scholar. You don't know anything. Well, let me tell you about 63 years worth of living and, 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 and all the experiences that a person uh, I think you're getting a little common sense, okay, to understand legal, you know, matters a little bit better than some troll on social media saying, well, you're not. I don't have to be. I'm using common sense, okay? I know it's wrong what they're doing. I know about the president. You know what? I think all that's happening is gotten a lot of people to do a little bit more research and make us more knowledgeable about the Constitution, about the Presidential Records Act, and about, about the President's duties, okay, when there is some problems, okay, in choosing your next leader. It was his absolute job to challenge what he saw, and what we all saw with our own eyes. Um, we're in for a bumpy ride, all of us. Um, and it is because, not because mega Republicans are extreme, <laughs> it's because there's people that are so desperate that they won't mind hurting all of us to get Mr. T. I, I've heard different pundits speculating on, you know, what they think might happen. Some of it's not good. I think and I hope he's well protected. But I think these pundits are absolutely right. That they don't have anything. And there's not going to be able to do anything unless they get Mr. T. Any way they can. 
if you think that we're going to have a free and fair choosing in November, oh, let's just go vote in November throughout 2024. Nope. That's not how it's going to work out. I don't see it that way. And I think a lot of us that are in the know, we all don't see it that way. We know what they're going to do. We know that they don't want a free and fair choosing. They'll tell you. And they'll tell the black folk too, you're not black. If you vote for that person over there, you're not black. You can't vote for that person. Wake up, folks. Wake up. And guess what? I'll say I'm voting for that person. Yeah, I mean, and I hope we can get to that choosing in November. But I don't think we're going to get there. But I hope we do. And if we do, I'm voting for that person. I'm voting for Mr. T with the gold chains. And if you think for one minute that Mr. Oatmeal Brains in the White House is going to be there in November? He ain't, he ain't going to be there. He's not even going to get their nomination. Well, maybe he will. I don't know. But he ain't going to be there in November. Look at the decline from when he first went in to now. Look at the decline. Do you think he's going to be there in November? Do you think he could even do another four years? No. He's not even in control now. Now, I don't know who is really in control. Some people say it's um, 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 the Obama. Some people say it's him. I don't know. He did brag about, like, I want to sit in the basement and talk in somebody's ear. He did say that. What we want to bet that... Maybe it's Victoria Newland. She's still in there, you know. Oh, I little thing up here. They're gonna strike me down just for saying her name. A lot of Obama people still in there right now. Merrick Garland. He's another one. There's a whole lot of bad folks in there right now, folks. Our government isn't working for us. They're not. They're not working for us. And they've gotten way too big, the federal government. They shouldn't have no, no, no say over the states. Okay? The states have their own laws. The federal government is for one purpose, one person's own purpose only. Their sole objective, their sole objective, okay, is for the protection of the citizens. You think that's what's going on now with an open border? Do you think that's for our protection? Gee, man, I was like, I thought you'd close the border for protection. Jeez, they schooled me, huh? Got to open it up if you want protection. Who are they protecting? They can't be protecting us. They're protecting themselves. Because they know they've lost us. And... Even though I don't think we're going to get to November to have a free and fair choosing. If we do get there, Mr. T, you got my vote. You got my vote. And not because I'm racist or because I'm an extremist. Or because of any of that nonsense. You know what it's because? Because I want free and fair. I want truth. I want no more bullshit. 
I hope you're on board with me, folks. And we'll see you at the end of this roller coaster ride.